And so we proceed to our piece. So this, uh, this is the application of analysis of fluid flow through small holes. Yung paglabas ng liquid sa maliit na uh, butas. So for example, we have this uh, container. Okay? For example, may butas dito. So obviously, lalabas yung uh, liquid. Let's say, uh, the height of the liquid above the center of the orifice is uh, H. So, so from... Okay, from potential uh, energy to uh, kinetic energy. Kung baga stationary liquid, kung bubuksan mo yung butas, lalabas yung liquid, gagalaw siya, magiging kinetic energy. So this is potential energy is mass acceleration due to gravity times the head, that is the height of liquid above the orifice. And kinetic energy, one half, mass times the uh, velocity. What will be the... Uh, velocity of flow, this is a uh, squared. If we are to compute for the value of the velocity, velocity is now equal to that is 2gh alright okay, then square root. This is the square root of 2gh. But for uh, if we are to uh, magnify this, por this portion okay, for example this is uh, ready yung butas Paglabas kasi ng liquid, okay, paglabas ng liquid is magkakaroon tayo ng contracted cross-sectional area. Kung baga, okay, the entire uh, area of the hole, yung entire area ng orifice is not a use or it's, it is not occupied by the liquid since it is contracted. Nakakontract yung liquid pag uh, labas niya. This contracted area is called as the avena. Contractor. Okay, that is the vena contracta, contracted area. So therefore, since the area of the orifice is not maximized, this velocity, the velocity equal to, uh, this is the square root of 2gh, is just a theoretical velocity. For a reason, hindi naman na maximize yung orifice. Okay? So, take note that the area of the vena contracta, okay, we can uh, consider this as the area actual. Area actual of, or the cross-sectional area of the actual, actual flow. Tapos, obviously, this area actual is less than the area of the orifice. Mas maliit yan compared sa actual area no? Uh, butas. So, paano natin kukulin yung mga actual values? So again, if this is the theoretical velocity, okay, magkakaroon tayo ng actual velocity. So we have the actual velocity. Paano ko rin ito? Okay, so actual velocities, makukuha lang naman yun. For example, again, hayaan uh, sa laboratory experiment, Okay, from the laboratory experiment is hayaan mag-flow yung liquid tapos iipunin ulit yung liquid na yon, tapos i-consider yung, uh, yung time so doon natin makukuha yung mga actual uh, values okay, through laboratory experiment so by actual velocity actual, uh, kunin mo natin yung ano uh, we have this uh, coefficients for the actual velocity, kailangan natin yung C sub B, which is, this is the coefficient of velocity. Okay, so the ratio of the coefficient of, uh, the of, the coefficient of velocity, this is the ratio of the actual velocity divided by the theoretical velocity. Kung gusto natin makuha yung actual velocity, this is now equal to C sub B times the theoretical uh, velocity or actual velocity is equal to C sub B the square root of 2GH so again, yung mga coefficients na to, coefficients of velocity, coefficient of contraction and the coefficient of discharge makukuha through laboratory experiment alright, then we have for the actual discharge Okay, so for actual discharge, pero paano ba kunin muna yung, ano, yung theoretical discharge? So this is, the theoretical discharge is, that is the area of the orifice times, okay, 
ay velocity theoretical. Okay? So, ganun pa rin. Discharge is equal to area times the velocity, which is the theoretical uh, velocity. And we are using the area of the orifice. So, again, we have C, or sa ibang metronome, C sub D, is the ratio of the actual discharge divided by the theoretical discharge. Paano makukuha yung actual discharge? So, in actual discharge, makukuha yun sa laboratory experiment, that is by, ayan, i-allow lang or mag-iipon ka lang ng liquid from the orifice under a uh, specific period of time. Since, alam natin, that we have uh, the actual discharge is basically volume over uh, this is the volume over time so if you are computing for the actual discharge this is the coefficient of discharge times the theoretical velocity a uh, theoretical discharge so flow rate actual is the equal to coefficient of discharge multiplied by uh, this is multiplied by the area of the orifice times the theoretical velocity Kung expand lang natin yan, for it actual coefficient of discharge, and the orifice, the square root of 2GH. Okay, multiplied by uh, the head. And lastly, okay, yung last coefficient natin is we have the coefficient of contraction. Coefficient of contraction, this is equal to the area actual, which is, this is the area of the vein na contracta. That is the area of the Beno Contracta divided by your theoretical area is basically area of the orifice. Yeah. So, ang gusto natin makuha just in case the area actual, this is the coefficient of contraction qualified by the area of the orifice. Okay, when it comes to these coefficients, ano yung magiging relation ng mga coefficients na ito? Okay, babalikan lang natin yung concept ng discharge. Discharge is equal to area times velocity. Kapag discharge, ano yung coefficient natin? That is the coefficient of discharge. Kapag area naman yung usapan, we have the coefficient of contraction. Kapag velocity, we have the coefficient of velocity, which is multiplied by C sub B. So this is the equation of the coefficients. Coefficient of discharge is equal to the product of the coefficient of contraction and the coefficient of uh, velocity. So let's have an example. Okay, so let's have our first example under uh, orifice. So a circular orifice is located 5 meters below the water surface. If the tank is large and the diameter of the orifice is 5 milliliters, calculate the discharge. So naghanap tayo ng flow rate actual. Bakit flow rate actual for a reason given yung coefficient of discharge equal to 0 point? 0.6 Okay, so yung mga pro uh, When it comes to problem solving Yung mga cases na to is Pwede natin ilagay sa category of A uh, constant head Okay, so we have a constant head Kapag constant head, naghahanap lang tayo ng mga immediate values Immediate values, kung baga pagbukas mo ng orifice, ano yung discharge, ano yung velocity. That is, the case of constant head, i-assume natin na kahit nababawasan siya, hindi bumababa yung liquid uh, surface for a reason, wala rin tayong details ng area ng no? uh, tanke. So we have a uh, flow rate actual is equal to C sub D, area of orifice, this is the square root of 2G. H. So, yung head is 5 meters since we don't have a pressure sa ibabaw ng uh, liquid. Flow rate actual is now equal to C sub D, 0.6. This is 5 mm. Convert ko lang sa siguro sa uh, meter. 5 mm divided by 1,000. So, magiging meters, uh, meter na ito. Square diameter yan, pi over uh, 4. The square root of twice of 9.81 times Okay, the head, the height of liquid above the orifice is uh, 5 meters. So, your flow rate actual, sa iba look? Okay, so this is a uh, one point. Uh, 167 times 10 raised to negative 4. 
Okay, this is in terms of cubic meter per uh, second. So, we divide by 1,000 liters. Kasi medyo, medyo maliit siya. Okay, 1,000 liter is to a 1 cubic uh, meter. So, we have a flow rate actual, equal to times 1,000, that is 0 point. Let's say 0 point, uh, 0.1167 liters per uh, second. So, maliit lang. So, again, sabi nga natin kapag orifice, that is uh, the, the exit of liquids through small holes. So, application nito is mga sprinklers, siguro fountain, mga ganun bagay. So, what about, uh, this is for a constant head, hindi bumababa yung liquid surface. So, paano naman plus yung yung case ng falling head. Okay, for the case of falling head, uh, we have two cases. We have unsubmerged, yung paglabas ng liquid is uh, open to atmosphere. Yung isa naman is paglabas ng liquid, papasok siya sa ibang uh, tanke. So, for falling head, i-assume natin, for example, na ito yung tanke, ito yung uh, liquid surface, so nandito yung orifice, i-exit yung uh, tubig. So, this is the discharge actual. So, ang mangyayari, since nababawasan siya ng liquid, is supposedly, bababa yung liquid surface natin. So, ito yung ating differential head. For these cases, kailangan natin yung cross-sectional area ng, ng tank. I will need the area of the uh, tank. So, we have, ito naman, let's say this is the initial head. Gaano kataas yung liquid above the orifice at the start, tapos bababa yan, ano yung kanya magiging final? Ay final head. Okay, for the concept of discharge, flow rate actual is equal to okay, flow rate actual is equal to the negative differential volume divided by differential time. So again, bakit negative? For a reason, nawawala yung liquid. Yung liquid na babawas dun sa container. So it's a negative uh, differential volume. So we have differential time is equal to Ano yung differential volume? That is area, yung area ng tank times the differential head. Yung nag-change na height ng uh, liquid. So differential volume is negative area differential height. This is divided by the flow rate actual. Differential time is na equal to negative area uh, differential head. Flow rate actual is C sub D. Coefficient of discharge, area of the orifice, square root of 2G. H. So we have differential time is equal to negative area divided by C sub D area of the orifice square root of 2G. Separate lang natin yung variables and uh, constants. So this is square root of H. Kung itataas ko yan, magiging H raised to negative 1 half. Okay, so square root of H sa baba, tinaas ko, that is the same as H raised to 1 half. Integrating both sides, this is from 0 to t. Ito naman, integrate natin from initial head to uh, final, final head. Okay, so we are to integrate both sides of the equation. So the integral of uh, dt is obviously the this t. Ay, to be well weighted from 0 to t equal sa negative area this is divided by coefficient of discharge area of the orifice square root of 2g that is h raised to negative 1 half plus 1 divided by negative 1 half plus 1 to be well weighted from initial head to the final ay, final head so this is the same as time never mind the lower limit that is 0 Negative 1 half plus 1 is positive 1 half reciprocal. Ilalagay natin yung sa taas, negative 2 area. Divided by C, D, and orifice, the square root of 2G. Ito naman, ang matitira is uh, positive H raised to 1. Uh, positive na yung exponent niya, negative plus 1 half. Add plus 1. So, positive 1 half. 
to be evaluated from H1 to H2. So we have the formula for time is equal to negative twice the area divided by C sub D. Area of the is the square root of 2G. This is multiplied by upper limit, the square root of the final head minus this is the square root of the initial head. So this is the formula how to determine the time. Okay, na nagbago, nagbago yung height ng liquid above the orifice for uh, unsubmerged condition. Kung baga, paglabas ng liquid, never mind kung anong nangyari sa kanya, uh, ang focus lang natin is yung uh, tab, yung source na tab. Okay, so let's have an example. Okay, so let's have an example under a uh, falling head, unsubmerged uh, condition. So an open cylindrical tank 4 meters in diameter and 10 meters high contains 6 meters of uh, water. An orifice uh, 100 millimeters in diameter is located at the bottom of the tank with C sub C. We have C sub C is equal to 0 0.90 and C sub B is 0 0.98. Find the time to discharge all the uh, content. So, Kunin lang natin yung time na maubos yung 6 meters na uh, tubig. Okay? So we have first, the coefficient of discharge is equal to C sub C times okay, C sub uh, B. So coefficient of discharge will be equal to 0 0.90 multiplied by 0 0.98. Coefficient of discharge na equal to Okay, so we have 0 0.88 uh, P2. Okay, then mawa naman natin yung area ng tank. So I think this is more of a direct sum lang tayo. The time is going negative twice the area. This is divided by uh, coefficient of discharge area of the orifice. Square root of uh, 2G. This is multiplied by the square root of the final head minus the square root of the initial head. So by the way, what is our initial head? Initial head is yung, obviously, the initial height of water above the orifice. That is, 6 meters. So what will be the final head? Okay? What will be the final head? So the goal is to remove all the content. So which means, what, uh, ano yung height ng tubig above the orifice kapag wala na siyang laman? Obviously, that is, uh, zero. Okay? So, removing all the content will give us a zero final ahead. So, by solution, we have times na equal to negative 2. What is the area of the tank? 4 meters in diameter. That is 4 squared pi divided by uh, 4. This is divided by uh, coefficient of discharge. 0 0.88 at uh, 2. Area of the orifice, 100 mm. That is uh, 0.1 or 10 centimeters, 0.1 meter over 4 and this is multiplied by the square root of twice of 9.81 and the square root of 0 minus the square root of initial head is 6 meters so we are computing for time this is in terms of seconds so 9.81 meters per second square So let's see what we do. 2006.354 uh, seconds. So it's multiplied by, I'll say, in minutes. One minute is to uh, 60 seconds. So the time in minutes, for example, so this is divided by 60. It's equal to uh, 33. Point 439 minutes. Alright, so let's double check. 